Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice lower body focused flexibility practice. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today getting into our feet a little bit. So we can come over onto our knees and we're just gonna take our left foot and we're gonna rest it on top of the right one, kind of bringing the, the bony top part of your left foot into the arch of the right foot and trying to find that sweet spot where it feels like you're feeling something <laughs> through your right foot. It's hard to describe. What is that feeling? I'm not sure. It's a good one though. If you're able to take the weight out of your hands, you might rest them on your lap and sit back on your heels. If you feel nothing at all, you might move that top foot just a little bit. Try to find that sweet spot in the arch of your foot, of your right foot. Once you find it, you'll know. We're gonna switch sides just in case you're with me and you are feeling a lot of love here. Lift on up and switch sides. Notice that one side might be a lot more sensitive than the other. One foot might be a little more sensitive than the other. Find that sweet spot. And maybe take a deep breath in and out. How does this side compare to the other side? Can you let your shoulders fall from your ears? And take just another breath. And then we can slowly huh, come back off of our heels. Give those feet a little shake if you would like to give them a nice little shake. And then we're going to extend our right leg back behind us. Send that leg out long, tuck your toes, push the ball of your foot into your mat, try to stretch your calf. You might add a gentle rock forwards and back. Maybe you don't have to move at all, it's just pushing the ball of your foot into your mat gives you a nice calf stretch. Staying here. Or you can start to walk your foot over to the left side of your mat and your hips can go to the right still pushing into the ball of your foot. Maybe feeling your hip here, that outer right leg. And then from here, we might start to bend our right leg. So if you have your leg out to that left side, you might start to drop your knee down, trying to bring your knees in line with one another together a little bit and our feet out wide. If you wanna come back into tabletop onto your hands and knees and then cross your right leg behind the left, you could do that too. But just stay here with your hips lifted or you can try to sit back all the way down and end up in cow face. Knees together, inner legs together, feet out a little bit wider. Feeling our hips. And if you are still on your hands and knees, not to worry, we're going to be coming right back there. So you take one more breath wherever you happen to be. And if you did sit down, we've got to tip back forwards and come all the way back into our tabletop. So we can uncross our legs, give our hips a nice little rock side to side, and then extend the left leg back. Push the ball of your foot into your mat. Try to find your calf. Maybe a gentle rock forward and back. Maybe no movement at all. And you might stay here or walk that left foot over to the right as far as it wants to go. Maybe it's off of your mat. Send your hips to the left. Push the ball of your foot into your mat. Maybe you feel your hip, even your oblique a little. And then to a transition to crossing our legs, your knee might just bend and touch down and maybe you end up in the right place or 
If your knees are next to one another, you can cross your left leg behind the right one and just stay here on your hands. Bring your knees together, your inner legs together, your feet out a little wider and stay there or try to sit down gracefully. Notice how your hips feel wherever you happen to be. Don't be afraid to make some adjustments. Some wiggles around might feel good. Might bring you into a better spot. But just one more breath. And then we can come all the way back over if we are sitting down. Let's all meet in tabletop. Give your hips a gentle rock side to side or just be still. From our tabletop though, we're gonna be taking our right foot to the outside of our right hand. So we're gonna be bringing that right foot all the way up to the outside edge of our mat. We're gonna set up our lizard. So adjust, turn your toes out slightly. You might even stagger your left knee back a little and sink into your hips. Let your hips get heavy. And stay on your hands or you might come down onto your forearms. And if you're on your forearms, Slowly come back up onto your hands and let's heel toe our foot back to the middle of our mat and then we're going to pivot to the left side. So everything's going to pivot so that our left knee is down and our right leg is out long to the side. See if you can take your toes and point them forwards. Try to attach the outer edge of your foot to your mat. Maybe you need to lift up, find your balance. Maybe your hands can stay down, but let's think about the ankle and the leg. Try to encourage the outer edge of the foot down to get the ankle stretch. Try to bring some length into the leg to get the leg stretch. You can stay on your hands or you could come down onto your forearms or even your chest, but push into your foot. Try to keep that outer edge down on your mat. Nice work, you guys. If you're on your forearms or a little lower than your hands, just climb back up. Okay, we're gonna pivot back to the right. So pivot your legs so you're facing that right foot again. Your legs still out long. You can point your toes up. You could point your toes down. Just finding some length through the front leg again. Drop your chest if you need more. But you might feel your hamstring a little more than you have so far. And then bending back into your front knee, planting your hands and bringing your right leg back into your tabletop, maybe a gentle rock of the hip side to side. Our left foot will eventually find the outside of the left hand, the edge of the mat for our lizard. Just turn your toes to point out a little. Maybe adjust your back knee and sink, sink into your hip. Find your breath, maybe your forearms. You can climb back up onto your hands though, if you aren't already there. And heel toe your foot to the middle of your mat. We're going to be pivoting to the right side this time so that our left leg is out long. And we're going to point our toes forwards as best we can, trying to drop the entire bottom of the foot, especially that outer edge. 
push into your foot, try to keep it glued to your mat. How does your ankle feel? How does your leg feel when you do that? When you put a little bit of effort into keeping your foot connected or trying to connect it if it's lifted somewhere. If you wanna drop your chest or your forearms or anything at all, just keep your hips nice and high. And you can slowly lift back up if you are down. We're going to pivot back over to that left side to set up our half split. Left leg long. Toes pointing either up or down or somewhere in between. But finding the hamstring. Relaxing the shoulders. Breathe. Nice work, you guys. You can bend back into your front knee. Blanch your hands. Bring your left leg into your tabletop again and maybe take a nice rock of the knees side to side. Rock of the hips side to side. Awesome work, you guys. When you're feeling good, you can start to cross your ankles and sit all the way down. We'll bring our left leg out long and out wide for half a straddle. Bringing your hands either in front or behind you. Lengthen your spine. You can point your toes up. So your left leg is out nice and wide so that you feel your inner leg. You might start to tip forwards here. Maybe a gentle rock of the shoulders or no movement at all. But if you are going to move your upper body, you might start to bring your chest towards your right knee, towards your bent leg. Keep your left leg active, pointing your toes up, maybe dropping your chest towards your right knee. Maybe lifting your chest back up or keeping it low as you walk back through center. And then maybe all the way towards your left leg. Maybe taking a tip forwards towards your leg. And then bringing your chest back so you're facing forwards again and lifting all the way up. You can bring your left leg in. Send your right leg out. Take an inhale to lengthen, flex that right foot so your leg is active, your toes are pointing upwards. Maybe. Letting the chest tip forwards, a gentle rock of the shoulders. Maybe you will start to turn your chest towards your left knee. The knee of your bent leg first. Use your hands on the ground to support you, to guide you. Just see how it feels. Keep pointing your right toes up. And maybe starting your journey back to the middle and maybe all the way towards the right leg. Continuing to point the toes up. And eventually coming back through center and also lifting up if you're folding. You can bring your right leg in and your left one too. Give your knees a hug, maybe a rock side to side. Awesome work, you guys. We're going to end off today in a lovely toe squat. So come over onto your knees. Tuck your toes under. Find the length through the bottom of your toes, the bottom of your feet. Maybe sitting back on your 
heels or keeping your hands on your mat, but just let your shoulders fall from your ears. Close your eyes. Do you have sensitive feet? Maybe, maybe not. Let your body relax. Whatever you're feeling, enjoy it. For just another breath. And if your hands are lifted, bring them down, come off of your feet, give your toes a shake or a little love tap on your mats. You could cross your ankles and have a seat if you'd like. That is it, that is all for today though. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day and until next time, namaste.